السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم on behalf of مركز صحابة the voice of أهل السنة والجماعة we present to you lesson number two four seven one of our daily nasiha and advice today with the grace and mercy of all might Allah Azza wa Jalla we focus on the sixth of Safar. Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and the greatest Shaykh al-Hadith of this Ummah, 5,374 Ahadith he reported. He passed away in Medina Munawwara and is buried there in Baqi. He states, calling Nabi sallallahu alayhi sallam, the Master alayhi sallallahu alayhi said, La taqoomu sa'a hatta yanzila Isa ibn, Muri, Isa ibn Maryam. That Qiyamah will not come till the Nuzul, the coming down, second coming of Isa a.s., the son of Maryam, takes place. Isa means to be fair in complexion, a leader. Maryam means to be Abida, worshipper of Almighty Allah. Nabi Isa a.s., the Mubarak, blessed name, is mentioned 25 times in the Noble Quran. Sayyidah Maryam radiallahu anha, her Mubarak, blessed, honorable name, is mentioned 34 times in the Noble Quran. Chapter 19, Surah Maryam is dedicated to her. She is the only lady whose honorable name is mentioned among the females explicitly in the Noble Quran. Hakam and Muqsita, he will be sent as a Hakam, that his verdict will be final, no appeal court in constitutional court. And Muqsita, everything will be based on justice. Wa Imam and Adela, he will be a ruler for everybody and a just ruler. Now one question comes, why is there a need to send Nabi Isa alayhi to salam, second coming, why? A ibtali ibtalu akidat il Yahud ibtalu akidat in Nasara to nullify and debunk and refute the beliefs of the Jews and the Christians. Christians went to say Ibnullah, he's the son of Allah, Allah forbid. And the Jews, La Anahumullah, went to say Ibn Zaniyah, the son of a harlot, loose woman, prostitute, Allah forbid, Allah forbid. So both sides are guilty of kufr. Islam came and gave the middle path. And that is always the beauty of Islam. Fayaksiru salib. So see what he will do. He will crush and break the cross and the crucifix. No Christianity, no Judaism, no Mushrikin, no Buddhas. Imma al-Islam wa imma saif. Either you embrace Islam or either we wage war with you. Wa yaqtulu al-khinzir. The swines will be killed. So swines mean the pig and khinzir. So that is what it means. So these haram type of things will be not tolerated. Wa yadawul jizya. That is what I meant. Nowadays the law will be that either the non-Muslim embraces Islam, then is our brother, sister in humanity and religion, or either they accept Islam, that they stay in our countries and they pay jizya, hatta yu'tul jizya ta'ayyad yu wa musaghirun, and that's only for the men and a nominal amount, and their life, their assets, their property, their honor, all protected by the Muslim army, Muslim government. But when he comes to be Isa a.s., then the jizya will be removed because they must either embrace Islam or we wage war against them. And we are feed mal and wealth will increase and increase and increase. See mm-hmm. now what's mm-hmm. happening? That Europe and Ukraine and all these countries now and continents finish now. That one war has set them back now how many decades, how many places. So that is Allah showing them one one bounty I take away. So Allah will increase the bounties favor so much there won't be a beggar there to beg. Hatta la yakbalahu ahad nan to accept it. So we should make dua all may Allah Jalla wala protect us min al fitan min al fitani ma dhahara min wa ma batan all types of fitnas. Allah Jalla Wala protect us. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.